Nobody knows undersea adventures in the Caribbean like Neil Watson. So who better to take us diving for conch? The sweet meat of the ocean, a true Bahamian tradition. I started diving in 1953, so that's what over 50 years, and I've been doing it professionally. I moved to the Bahamas in 1965 and started my first dive operation. So I've been diving in the Bahamas for over 40 years now. The unique thing about the Bahamas over other destinations is just our geography and the massive size of the Bahamas. I mean, the Bahamas is 100,000 square miles with over 700 islands and, and caves. With that diversification, we, we have both topside and underwater diversification that, that other islands don't have. In the 40 years I've been diving here, I haven't scratched the surface of, of the attractions that we have here. You can spend a lifetime taking two or three vacations a year and never run out of islands and diving experiences. And the same with fishing, you know, whether it's deep sea, whether it's bottom fishing, drift fishing, bone fishing, we have world-class bone fishing here. So it's, it's a destination that literally has it all. This is uh, one of the dive spots that you take your clients to on, uh, with your company, Undersea Adventures. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a nice shallow reef after we do the wall or, or a deeper dive, we'll come in and degas on this one. It's about 35 feet, got a couple of swim, swim throughs. We've got beautiful visibility today, a little overcast, but that brings the marine life out. Beautiful. Should be a lot of fish on here and uh, some really nice footage we're gonna get that. Day. What happens here in uh, Rock Sound, we're looking back towards the city of Rock Sound, yeah. there's an offshore marker. And right, at low right, tide, right. there's a sandbar that's a lot of fun to bring guests to. Right. And that sandbar actually runs uh, a quarter of a mile all the way out to this point right here. Right. So what happens is the conch get caught you know, in the deeper water, in the 10, 12 feet about where we're in, right. as they're migrating out of the juvenile beds where they're gonna be up in this way, okay? Right. And they're also, they also multiply out here and the grass is out, you know, a little deeper water. Right. But they like to, they, you know, they, they kind of get forced to follow a little river themselves as they go out, go out to sea or come in to sea, whatever they're doing. Right. So we generally find them kind of plentiful either right or left of that sandbar. Right, and is there a minimum size that we're looking for here? We're looking for, we never, we never want to pick up anything that isn't what we call a thick lip or a fat lip, and that is the conch lip is fully formed, layered, goes out like this. Right. If the conch is going like this and the shell is like that, it's not a mature conch. Right. Generally, we're looking for the meteor conch are going to be the conch that have what we call thick lips. That shell is thick like my finger right here. Gotcha. Okay, versus being thick like, like paper. Right. And those will be dinner. And those will be dinner. <laughs> okay. Sweet meat of the Bahamas Ocean. I'll let you go first. I'll go first. Just eat the white part, yeah. and I'll eat the yellow part. <laughs> you get it? Sweet. All right, it's sweet. All this right in your backyard. <laughs> 